Hello guys, in this video we're going to see how we can change the user password from the database. We are talking about WordPress and uh, maybe there is a situation that a client uh, of yours has uh, changed your credential so you cannot no longer log in and maybe the client has now not paid you, has not uh, paid you for the work you have done and you want to gain access of the website. Uh, with this scenario or there is some uh, something else and you want to gain access to the website now to do this you have to have access to the cPanel account so you have to get access to the web hosting company and uh, usually the client only only changes the credential of the website they don't change the credential of the website of the web hosting company sorry so let's go in and create a new user add new and we're going here to type test okay email it's test and I don't want to see the password I don't want to get it and I will put the user as a subscriber I will hit add new you will see why I will check here subscriber I will see here subscriber okay and click add new user okay don't save it the password and the new user is created okay subscriber so let's go back to our cPanel account. You, we will use the PHP My Admin. I will open it in a new tab. So uh, to gain access to the database, you must first know which database you have connected with the WordPress installation. If you have more than one, in this case I have more than one, a way to find it is to go to the file manager and to go where the WordPress uh, is installed it in most cases it will be here public underscore HTML but for my case it's websites and design web and here I will just click right click the WP config PHP and I will click view here we, you will find the DB user sorry we will find the DB name and this is the DB name database name website design so back to our PHP my admin here and we will click website design okay this is the tables that we have all the information from the WordPress uh, is in, in stored here how the WordPress is working is that uh, it has the files inside the WordPress installation and all the information are here the, the page titles the page content all the information that you put if you have a WooCommerce all the products all the, the prices the categories and everything else is stored here only the plugins the files and the pictures that you upload and the backups that you take are inside the files of the, the WordPress files all the other information are is in stored here so uh, as you can see here we have uh, 19 tables if you have many plugins and uh, and depend on the theme you may have more tables like this I think that the default uh, tables for the WordPress installation is 12. Okay, and uh, here we have the prefix, the first two letters, and the underscore is the prefix that we put when we install the WordPress. If you didn't install manually, then uh, maybe it, we, it has taken the WP, the default uh, prefix, WP underscore. And we care about the other word that says under the underscore. Now we will go in here where it says W uh, DJ user. Sorry, we will go he here to the users. But first, always, always back up before you change anything. To back up from inside the PHP My Admin, you just hit export. You go here that says SQL. You leave it as it is, and you click go, and that will uh, produce a file and you just save it somewhere this is how you back up from the inside the PHP might be you may have another way to back up inside here from the cPanel if I click here and search for backup okay it says here backup and uh, backup wizard so I can also back up from here but it's quicker I think uh, to back up from the PHP okay so let's go back to PHP my admin and let's go to users 
there we will find two users our main user and our test user okay i will click edit and i will get go in the field that says user pass now this is the current password and of course this is encrypted if you take any anything of this or the whole text or a part of this you cannot put it in the wp admin and uh, gain access it's an encryption version of uh, the password you cannot see and find what is the old password you can only uh, change it so i will just type here one two three four five six and i will copy it here copy and i will select md5 okay this is the procedure and you hit go this or this they're do they're both the same okay click go and it is saved now let's go back and uh, log out and I will put here test and of course I will paste the password one two three four five six and you will see that I now have access to the back of the WordPress website of course I am just a subscriber I'm not an administrator so I will just log off again and I will log in with my administrator account which also has one two three four five six of course because it's a test purposes it's not a real website and let's go back to our users all users and uh, we will see the test account and the role is subscription now there is a way also to change the subscription the role from the php my admin and i can uh, change it to administrator from the php my admin so if you have access to one uh, one uh, account regardless the role you can do it do him you can change the role to administrator and gain the access of the site so let's go back and we'll go here where it says user meta now this is where uh, we, we can find many more things than just two users every user have many more metadata and uh, if you don't see everything th here you can just put a high number to see all the users now here are all the users of the wordpress website if it is a eShop, you will find here every client that has uh, made a user and uh, bought something so you can understand that maybe you will find here a thousand clients or a thousand users or something here i only have two okay now if you go and see the user id and the name the name stratos is the user id one so everywhere that says user id one is for the stratos account and here it starts six and it's for the test everywhere that says six it's for the test account so i want the test and i want the line that says capabilities okay it says a1 s10 subscriber b1 if you go see here and see the administrator you will see that this line is s13 and here it says administrator so i will go here and edit it and then i will change this to 13 and here i will change this to administrator now i have also written down the line and i will put it in the description below so you can copy it there okay and i will just here hit go okay so let's go back to our wordpress website and refresh the page and you will see that here here says subscriber and it will say administrator administrator <laughs> sorry for any mistakes uh, english is not my first language and i'm trying guys so let's go here and click type test and of course one two three four five six the secure password and login and i will see the back end as an administrator okay and i can do everything that i want now so that's it please subscribe to my channel gives me a thumbs up if you like the video if you have any question put it in the description below even in the comments below and if you didn't like something write it in the comments and help me improve myself thanks guys and i will see you in the next video bye